Hey guys, so this is going to be a video on Anki to SM. And if you don't know what Anki to SM does, as the name suggests, it lets you convert from Anki to being able to put your deck in SM. Uh, now, Anki to SM works pretty well, and it can also transfer with both vocab, or not vocab, with audio and images. So I'm just going to show you how to get it set up. Uh, so obviously the first thing, well, okay. Well, the, the first thing you're going to want to work on is just exporting the deck. Um, so you can either export your entire collection or you can export a specific deck. So in this case, I'll just, I'll just export this specific one. Uh, these settings don't matter as long as you make sure to have include media. And uh, I'll just put this on my desktop. So I've already got it, but I'll just uh, export it again, show you what it's like to export it and that I'm transferring something that's like actually in, in a collection already. Let me just confirm. Oops. All right, looks good. Okay, um, now the next step is I need to download Anki to SM itself. So to go ahead and do that, you wanna to go to Anki to SM on GitHub, and I'll put the link to this in the description below. And uh, you can just do code, download zip. Now, before I can actually use Anki to SM, there is a dependency uh, based on Python. So I need to get Python installed. Um, now this isn't very tricky, but there's like one single specific thing you have to be very careful of. And if you're not careful of it, it will cause major, huge, very annoying problems. But uh, if you guys go to the Python site, you can download Python and I'll show you how the installation looks. All right, so I just open this, then you'll see this installation. Now what you must, must do is click on this add python 3.9 to path. If you don't do this, then the rest of it won't really work and it's a huge pain to fix afterwards. So if you do install it without doing this, then I recommend just uninstalling python and then reinstalling it and then clicking this. It's just that much of a pain to install or to, to get to work afterwards without doing it from the installer. So uh, right now it looks like it's just installing. I'll let it do that. Uh, so now that I've gotten python installed, I can go to my Anki 2SM, just close up SuperMemo. And so here I'm APKG, uh, where's my Anki to SM? Let me, let me just move that to my desktop. Ah, uh, whoops, never mind. It was just right here. Uh, let, me, let me just move this stuff around a little bit. Okay, so I have Anki to SM, let me extract it. There. And uh, when you extract Anki to SM, you'll have this Anki to SM master. Now my recommendation is that you give a date to the version you're using, because uh, if there's a new version of Anki to SM that you're gonna install, it'll be a little bit messy to figure out which one's the, whoops, the one that you should actually, well, damn it. Well, the, basically, if you don't give it a date, it'll be really confusing to figure out which Anki to SM that you're, you're actually using right now. Huh. Okay, so it's 12, 11, 2020, just open that. All right, so now the first thing you wanna do when you're uh, trying out Anki to SM is you wanna click on init.bat. And it'll just do these crazy, crazy commands and just satisfy all these dependencies. So I already have the dependencies installed, so it's not that crazy for me, but probably for you, it'll be, it'll be a lot crazier. Now remember, it's not gonna work if you haven't done the path, to, path thing correctly with the Python installation. So make sure to do that. And uh, now that I've got init.bat working, I can just do new folder. And I need to make two folders. So one called apkgs and one just called out. And uh, now what you want to do is you want to put in the deck. So this is the one I exported. I just want to put it here um, into this apkgs folder. And then all I have to do is just click run. And uh, now you'll see a few options. So basically you have, you have some choices here and I'm not going to go through like how all of them look, but um, essentially this first one, what it decides is if I open up, let me just open up super memo where my super memo go. Uh, oh, it's heading over there. So what it, what you're sort of deciding is if I have this card, uh, what Anki to SM can do is if you have uh, an image, it can put it in this box or, or 
If you use item picture, uh, then it can put the image on the side here. Now, personally, I prefer to have the image in a separate component. Sometimes you have images inside components, uh, text components, you can get a little bit screwy. So I'll just do yes for a separate component. Now for this one, most people just want to do three, leave them as is. Um, and in this case, yeah, sure, I'll just save it. I'm probably going to run it the same way every time anyway, so. Now this this one, you have to think a, bit, a little bit harder about. Um, now, I, I recommend most people, it, it's probably enough to just put yes. And what this is going to do is that it's going to render the text here as it was in Enki. So I'll show you how this looks. And I'll just let it finish this part. And, and you'll see it's doing some crazy stuff beyond my comprehension. Oh, all right, it looks like it's still at it. There, all right, done. So let's go ahead and import this. Let me let me just make a folder for uh, test imports, control K with concepts, so it'll import to that. Ah, so you can do Alt F I I to get to import, or you can just click on file, import, XML import. And uh, let me just go to the place on my file system where I can find this. So you want to go to Anki.sm and you want to go inside the folder and go to out. And in the out, you'll see this .xml. Now this is exactly what we want. And then you want to press OK. And uh, you can just do create default. Unless you have a template you want to apply it to all your fancy new cards. Up to you. And uh, now we'll just let this run and have some fun. Uh, so when it's done, it'll try to... Did it not do it? Ah, uh, yes. So it'll try to open... Nope, not that. Uh, okay, I can't find it. But usually it'll open like a log file. Um, so in this case, I guess it just... For, well, I, I just missed it, but... Essentially, we've now gone ahead and done the import, and now you can see that I have a thousand cards here. And uh, both the audio and image are working perfectly, and it's rendering them as it would in Anki. So to show you exactly how it looks in Anki, let us open Anki and uh, take a look. So let's see, let's look for a random fun card. Uh, is that how it looks here? Yes. So if I do an actual repetition, listen, and then... Now the only issue is that this should be on the back. Um, and that, that can be a little bit annoying to fix. But if we just do the Anki to SM conversion, but we make it so that it doesn't convert with... Uh, how do you call it? If we just make it convert, but we make the setting so it does everything on the back, then it should be fine on that regard. Um, but anyways, so this is this is roughly how you do the conversion. So big thanks to Amilo, who is the guy that made this converter. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know in the comments, and I'd be happy to either answer your question or make another video. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.